Hello, 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 everybody. How is your Friday going so far? I hope you are ready for some more Elder Scrolls Online. For today's Fantasy Friday. Go ahead and minimize that so it's out of the way. Right. I'm out of space. I need to sell some stuff. Where am I? Over there. actually have to do. To hear a funny story, one? I think some get on stories. <laughs> hmm. That is better than what I have.
five claws. Barely not better. Funny story. Here we go. Now I can do my level up. I've still quenched to use. I like the fact that they're stunned if I have high ultimate. I like that this one gives me ultimate. This is with kill. Mm. I beg of you. Which one? I'll see this one. What does Blur do? Hey Hannah. Thanks for the follow. I'm doing okay. How are you? I have two coins to rub together. saying it would prefer or recommend that one, but...
I'll save that one. Well met, and good fortune to you. What was this? Mm. Your rewards are ready. Select the crate and try your luck. to purchase a crate from the store to continue, my friend. Goodbye, my friend. Cool. Pakruti is pleased to see you. Your crates are gone, my friend. Until next time. Greetings, my good friend. May luck follow you. Thank you. Is it a one-time use thing? Wonder if it stacks. Nope, it does not. All right. I need to head there. Kind of want to do this first, so that's what I'll do. this the lord stone do I already have one active how would I even know
out of the way, that's the one I have equipped now. How the hell do I get down there? Maybe I can finagle my way down. Oof, that was close. In the sky shard. Cool. Good dial. Another quest.
Yeah, get the hell out of here. So, you have come. A vision holds true. Stay your hand and hear my words. Dominion Pact Covenant. You're like school children fighting over marbles while the world around you is on fire. I am the most humble servant to the blessed goddess Almalexia. Her divine vision foresaw your coming as in a dream. We share a common enemy that does not make us friends, but it does make us allies. The prince of schemes, the harvester of souls, do not force me to speak his name. One of his dark anchors has planted itself in the ruins of what was once the town Gilvardel. Those who came to destroy it have gone missing. We must find them. Good. We will set aside differences for the sake of Tamriel. We need to know what happened here. The surviving members of the group sent to destroy the Dark Anchor will know best. We must split up and search. She is our merciful healing mother, divine goddess of the Tribunal of Morrowind, who I am sworn to serve. Though occupied with the war that rages on, her compassion extends to all when it comes to the vile Prince of Schemes. My goddess possesses many gifts, not the least of which is her sight. She saw you were crucial to what must happen here, and that your hatred of the Prince of Schemes burns almost as deeply as her own. Allies, recruited by Almalexia to aid me in opposing the Harvester of Souls, plucked from the best of the Fighters Guild across Tamriel. Every one of them experienced that destroying Dark Anchors, which is what makes their disappearance so troubling. Perhaps you have heard the song in the taverns. Oh, Gil Vardell, your name is desolation on my lips. Once a thriving wood elf town was nestled here, full of life and music, until he came. The Harvester of Souls claimed them all, reaping every last soul. Almalexia saw the horror as it unfolded, but could do nothing. Her memory is long, and her compassion burns like the sun. She sent a group of us to destroy the Dark Anchor here. Well, it's for another time. We have a better chance of finding them if we split up and search different areas. I'll meet you later. There. Stranger, why are you here? Who are you? Where is my mother? She always brings the water to these falls. Oh, I see. My apologies then. She had been after me to aid her, but I saw it as her usual nagging. Maybe she really does need someone. I should go and see her. You have my thanks for the kindness you showed her. I'll tell her you kept your word. Good. Go see her. What is this person I need to go see?
Sitting at 86 of 90. Okay. Well, let me look at something real quick.
No, someone's roommate asking if I want food from a place. But I don't know if I want to try some actual yakisoba. Or if I want some curry. I'm gonna go with curry. I've had curry once before, but I don't remember which kind it was. I want to say it was green or yellow curry. I'm thinking I want red. Do I want jasmine rice or do I want brown rice? I think I'm going to go with brown rice.
All right. Back to the game. Map. Needing to go there. You return. Enough! This is more than I even dreamed of. I think this might even allow me to piece together the complete tablet. Variations in the runes, slightly altered structure. Yes, yes, this is very exciting. Thank you. A find like this is incredibly rare. It could greatly advance our understanding of the Valenwood aliens and their unique dialect. I must begin translating immediately. Everyone knows the Aliens left many secrets behind. And the more we understand about them, the more we learn about what remains. Their language is part of this. And as the Aliens migrated and split, variations of their language emerged. Correct. We already know there were cultural differences between the Aliens of Cyrodiil and those that settled in Valenwood. Their language varies too and is less understood than the more common Cyrodiilic. Any writing we find here is significant. All right, well, that's done. Now for... Guess I'll go there, since I'm still over here in this area. get too far I want to oh you're a player cool okay I will be right back to it. I don't want to see if I can pick this on. about this. Nope, I'm out. I barely made a dent. Oh, 
clickbait, clickbait. I'm going to use up this lake bait. Please get me out of here. I saw what they did to the others. It is a fate worse than death. We fought the worm cultists to the center of Gilvardel, beneath the hollow tree. 
The Dark Anchor loomed before us, swarming with Daedra, like so many others we'd seen before. But it wasn't long before we realized something was different. We couldn't budge it. Nothing we tried worked all around. It was this feeling, a chill running down our spines. It was his presence, from when he reaped the souls of Gilvardel all those years ago. It's strengthening the Dark Anchor somehow. There are evil devices planted in the Earth. The Worm Cultists call them Fangs of Chaos. They seem to be channeling the residual magic from Molog Ball's presence into the Anchor. Ares tried to destroy one, but it killed him the instant he hit it. I don't know. If mortal weapons are useless, if even the most devastating magic fails, what hope do mere mortals have against the Prince of Schemes? Don't worry, Maver. I'll see you safely away from this place. Nonsense. You and your friend here must destroy the Dark Anchor, or the others died in vain. You always put yourself last, don't you? Maver's account of the Fangs gives me an idea. Of course, the Fangs. It all makes sense now. Blessed Al Malexia had a vision that the Prince of Schemes had sunk his teeth into the ground at Gilvardel. The fangs she saw in her vision must be the devices Maver described. Have you ever seen a goddess cry? It is a terrible thing to behold. So perfect a face marred by so many tears. Al Malexia's tears for Gilvardel crystallized into a beautiful gem filled with all her fury directed at the Harvester of Souls. A goddess never suffers without purpose. The gem can destroy the fangs of chaos. Blessed Almalexia warned me that no mortal could wield the gem without also being destroyed by her rage. She told me to wait for the soulless, deathless one. You. Take Almalexia's tear. Destroy the worm cultists. Their blood will awaken her fury. Once my goddess's fury is released from the gem, nothing. Not even these fangs of chaos will withstand it. I will remain at your side to see this through. Oh, part two. please. have to charge it after each use, huh?
Ooh, that's better than what I've got. Take that.
Better than what I've got. Come on. It is Da, the harvester of souls present. I should probably go ahead and do this. So I'm sure he'll give me something. It is Da. The Harvester of Souls' presence is receding from the land, though it is likely that this place will be forever scarred. They will try, but without the Daedra or the link to Cold Harbor, destroying the remaining worm cultists will be quick work. I will warn the Dominion of what they attempted with the Fangs of Chaos. It will not be allowed to happen again. I must send word to the Dominion of what transpired here. Almalexia sees great things from me. Whether good or bad, I can't say. Thank you for your help. If we meet again, I hope it is as allies once more. Farewell. All right, where to next? Could go there. Could also go there. Let's go here. I've heard tell of your devout work at the holy site of Turinan. Divines, bless you. Please enjoy our attractions. I'm terribly sorry they're so limited at the moment. I convinced my performers to come here, to spread high elf culture in these lands. Bring a little piece of Somerset to Grotwood, you see? But the train bugs are sick, our magician supplies are missing, and our storytellers' stories fell flat. None of us know the area well enough to resolve these matters. Now we're a carnival, with nothing but a fortune teller. Huzzah! 
I'd gladly pay the coin provided by the Somerset Cultural Expansion Council to anyone who would help us put on the show. My performers can best explain their setbacks. Corner is our bug trainer, Norian, our storyteller, and Vindare the Magnificent is, well, she's magnificent. I have to describe her that way. It's in her contract. Look at them. Limbs so sluggish and carapaces dreadfully dull. When you've raised the shock since they were pupae, it gnaws at your heart to see them so listless. They're having trouble managing the local grass. So I've put them on an all-hay diet. And the climate. It's more humid than they're used to in Somerset. If I didn't know any better, I'd say they were homesick. When they were younger, I'd grind mud crab eyes into paste and give it to them as a treat. I think it would raise their spirits again. But nobody sells mud crab eyes. And I can't leave my shocks to fade away while I scour the coasts. I would forever be in your debt, my friend. A dozen would be enough to go around if you wouldn't mind. And I won't mind if they're a little mashed when I get them. Saves me some work. <laughs> there's a sky shard. Try this again. There we go. What was that? It's just a vine. I'm sorry, but I have nothing to say. That is my problem. I literally have nothing to say to these people. All my stories about the amazing deeds of long-dead high elves. The first rule of my profession is to know your audience, and Grotwood is not a place to tell such tales. I plan to seek out wood elf stories in taverns and libraries, but since we arrived, I've heard of countless troubles in Grotwood. The Worm Cult, pirates, wood elf rebels. It's all the same. I'd rather keep to the safety of the carnival. The Wood Elves rarely write their stories down. But I heard Scholar Glorolan in the Elden Root Mages Guild is the one to ask. If you're headed that way, would you mind asking for a book? It could be written in Old Akaviri for all I care. Anything would help. I hope you didn't travel from far away just to see Vendare the Magnificent. I am not performing at present. My magic cannot function safely in front of a crowd. The, uh, stars are out of alignment. Oh, did she? Did she also tell you how she promised that would make ten times our normal take by coming to this godforsaken backwater? Did she mention how she said shipping my supplies wouldn't be an issue? The shipping was fine. It's the delivery where it fell apart. My belongings arrived at the docks of Haven without incident. But due to the recent problems in the city, no one has any idea when deliveries will resume. As far as I'm aware, yes. They're in the nicest looking trunk on the dock. I had it touched up by a painter in Matisse, you know. But with the pirate attack, who knows when Haven will be stable enough to deliver their backlog of shipments. I couldn't ask you to lug that heavy monstrosity all the way here. It's triple reinforced steel with an inch thick lead interior. Discourages my competition from snooping. I just need the supplies inside, if you wouldn't mind, of course. All right. If I need to go there, there, and there. Or. Try 
retrieve the magical items. There. Alright, let's travel to Elden Root. Yes, how can I help you? Hmm. Huh. My people mostly leave such matters to our spinners to share, rather than writing it down. I have something, but I can't imagine you'd want Nakaviri spies' writings on our heritage. A cultural infiltration document. <laughs> Complete garbage. Really? You read Akaviri? Well, no matter. You're welcome to it. Let me see, I'll have a copy around here somewhere. A moment, please. Here we are. One flawed Akaviri depiction of my people. It was something I saw this morning. Uh, on the scroll, perhaps. I hope you found it Have as amusing as I did. the one I asked you to look for? We'll find it. It must be around here. The Order of the Eye could use your assistance. Daedric relics cursed by Sheogorath have begun to appear throughout the lands. Do you dare defy the Mad God and recover one such relic? If you aren't too busy, of course. The relic known as Big Sister Little Brother is particularly gruesome. Two skeletal faces fused together in a child-sized skull. We tracked it to roots under ruins in Grotwood. If it whispers to you... Well, best not to listen. Err. Why well, won't it let me craft? Oh, duh. Inventory is full. I get a lot of strange looks for my choice in armor. It requires some talent to imbue ebony with Daedric essence, you know. I consider it a point of pride. A mark of my trade, if you will. I think it looks badass. Shield in the Daedric style. All right, so I had oh. 
like I'm still sitting there. Okori Jijota. Murade Mako Jijota. Jode Kaderi Ta Hurade Deni Jejota Oko Jejota Hurade Oko Ta Jode Oko Ta I get a lot of strange. Sell you, sell you, you. Alchemy. Missing another reagent. Okay. The potentialities of Would that be would it be under here? Where are you? I guess. The raw destructive Ah, uh, stabs. Mm 
Hmm. Fine is honestly not that great. Enchanter. Where's your enchanting table? Oh, I've already done that. So, you're telling me that no matter what happens, anything I put here will be safe? Yes. So, two has wagers. If one were to bring. Excellent. I'll need you to take care of this. Keep it safe. What are our vaults made of? I'm not sure. Probably... Hmm. Blacksmith. The working of steel is a war. How much moonstone do I have? None? Or am I just not looking? Oh, here we go. I have nine. Alchemist, carpenter. If you've come to work wood, I. over here then Uh, look. 
Oh, rune stone. You bastard. Yeah, go away. Two more. And now to return. No, I am not going to spend 300 gold just to go back that close to where I already am. I'll just walk. I think that's saying that my weapon is needing to be charged. Doubt that. Tell me to come back out this way. Oh, come on. Dude's riding a storm camel. Oh, 
Come on. saltwater fishing hole. How much do I have? Eleven? Means I'm catching eleven fish. If I could quit catching bait, that'd be great. You made certain the Khajiit will have a voice in Elden Root. Thank you, Walker. All right, back to there. I 
Should, it'll be just easier to run. No need to fast travel. you eat that flower. I can't let you harm this forest without penance. The Green Pack demands that you pay for your indiscretions. But this Khajiit loves to eat flowers. You're insane. Put that axe away. I have done nothing wrong. The plants and the trees are sacred to the Bosma, all true Bosma at any rate. I demand retribution for the flower you slaughtered and devoured. Someone help. You there. Please, talk some sense into that elf. He's a lunatic. This Khajiit thinks he can walk into this forest and kill and maim at his leisure. He may not follow the Green Pact, but I do. And I'll have him learn respect for the flowers and the trees before this day is done. What an inane question. The Bosma of Valenwood hold all plant life in the highest regard. We've made a pact not to harm them and to use no wood or greenery in anything we create. It can be a difficult life. Yes, it makes it that much harder to carry on when I see fools with this Khajiit's wanton disregard for green life. It disgusts me, and I'm going to teach him a lesson. Ah, it's always a misunderstanding. Do you know how many buffoons stumble into this place to tear up flowers and kick the trees? Damn it, the fool isn't worth it. Wasn't going to hurt him anyway, just scare him a little. Sorry, Cat. I let my anger get to me. I understand. One time my brother, under the influence of Skuma, also attacked me. Luckily, he could not climb trees in that state, <laughs> though it was humorous to see him try. That was a nice little touch to running into random NPCs. Can I get to where I need to by going up here? What do you have there? A book? This book? It's written in Akaviri. This is wonderful. Uh, nobody here will be able to find the source of my stories if they're written in another language. My Akaviri is a bit stale, but I think I can manage. You're welcome to stay for my performance. But few wood elves know of the deal struck before. Some say with Moloch Ball himself. Do you have them? You have them, don't you? Oh, I shouldn't get my hopes up. They fell in the sea, didn't they? I knew it. I have the worst luck. Wonderful! That's everything I need. Once Haven gets its act together, they can deliver an empty trunk. You're welcome to stay for the show. Sit wherever you like. You won't regret it. Unless you hate stage performances. Then you'll regret it. <laughs> but hopefully you'll enjoy it. Welcome, everyone. I am Vindari the Magnificent. This performance is dedicated to someone in the crowd who helped the show go on. I don't want to embarrass them, but they know who they are. And now, 
I'd like everyone to meet my assistant, Sulemer. Come on out. Sulemer, say hello to the crowd. To these bumpkins, I'd rather eat grass. What an awful thing to say here in Gratwood. But perhaps there's a way we can accommodate you. What are you doing? No! That's better, isn't it? You know, I think he's less stubborn this way. All right. I suppose we've had our fun. Time to restore my assistant. Sulemer, return to your true nature. You fool! You foiled my plans and revealed my true form to everyone in this wretched land. Sulemer, you were a Jamora all along. I won't allow you to harm these fine people. You think you can stop me? No! Release me! And now, for the rest of you. You forgot one thing, foul creature. What might that be, mortal? The people of Gratwood are closely tied to the forest itself. And you cannot withstand the might of the Green Pact. This can't be happening. The Green Pact isn't real. It's real enough to kick you back into the pit from which you crawled. Everyone, find your will to mine. Together we can banish him. No, stop back to oblivion. <laughs> With your help, We've banished the foul Dramora. Behold the might of the Green Pact. I hope everyone enjoyed the show. Good luck finding the mud crab eyes. Only if you have the time. I realize it's not the most glamorous request. Would you look at that? Just the smell of the thing seems to have perked them up. I'll see if I can use them to motivate my little friends. I'm Kornar, a bug wrangler. What does that mean? Perhaps my little friends here can show you. Now, defend the perimeter. Return to positions. Around the world. Return to positions. Show us your dwarf impression. <laughs> they all disappear. <laughs> Return to positions. And now, my minions, surround the intruders. joke everyone they are completely harmless unless you're a blade of grass move on back my pets that's our show everyone my little friends here need a short rest before their next performance please enjoy the rest of Sarandel's carnival would you look at that line we're drawing more people than in Oradon we'll perform our hearts out the Wood Elves will see there's more to the Somerset Isles than stuffy politicians. Return any time you wish. If there's enough call for it, we may have new performances to share. Oh, that's done. All right.
Now where? Alright, I'll go there. A cool little pet. Everyone think the law doesn't apply to them. Hold. We've observed your travels through Grotwood and have need of your particular talents. Our eyes have been watching you. They've been fixed upon you since you entered the reliquary of stars. I'm privileged to be a Vine Dusk Ranger. We report directly to King Kamoran Eridon, ruler of the Wood Elves. We protect his rule against all threats, without or within. It's been a year since the Grotwood Civil War ended, and the Black Sap Rebellion still operates in a city called Cormount, northeast of here. With your help, the Vine Dust can end the rebellion. If you agree, I'll open a portal to a secure location. Give me a moment to open the portal. There you go. Quickly now, enter the portal. Later. I've got things to do here. What do you want, my guy? Orcs are all about... I don't guess you've run into a big, lumbering brute of an orc in your travels. Named Storg. Was a friend of mine. Emphasis on the was. I'm in a pile of trouble because of him. Maybe you've heard of the Rite of Theft. A wood elf tradition. If you pull off a particularly clever theft, you can demand payment from the owner for their things. You're right back. <laughs> well, I stole this tree thane's bow, and then Storg stole the bow from me.
The tree thane wants his bow back, and if I can't give it to him, he's going to have me hauled in and whipped. Last I heard, Storg was headed toward Vine Death Cave. The tree thane won't let me leave town. Could you look for Storg? Sure, why not? I'll add another quest to the list. Trying. Ifrei, the singer, the storyteller, who resides. My husband Ninglenel went for a walk yesterday morning. Said he wanted to get away from the squabbling at Elden Root. He hasn't come back. I went looking for him this morning with our dog. And now my dog has wandered off. Yes, thank you for pointing that out. The last place I saw our dog eat eat was near the fork in the road that leads to Cormount, just west of here. Of the Take this whistle. Use it when you get to the fork in the road. I'll wait here in case he comes home. Now I'm finding lost dogs, huh? I'm following the dog. Ironic. We come back to my homeland and I'm the one that falls into a ravine. I used to scale these rocks like there were stairs. I guess none of us are immune to the ravages of time. <laughs> Just give me a second and I'll head back home. I knew Eat Eat wouldn't leave me here to rot. Ms. Zahabi will be worried sick. Thank you. Is this skeleton gonna talk to me? What the hell are you? I look like a hag raven, but not at the same time.
You can try to keep up. What's that? Well, that's not what I wanted to go. Choose one. I want the cat. Why have I not been picking up carapaces?
Okay. Better than what I've got. I'll take those, but I'm just gonna sell them. That is active. What's my inventory sitting at? Does it tell me here? No, it doesn't look like it. I'll take that. Let's see. I'm almost back up to 90. Sky Shard real quick.
apologies, roommate just brought the food to me. The cost. I'll take that so I can sell that. I have to talk to is right outside here. I'm going to have to run back. My notes. I can't believe it. I thought I'd lost these for good. You can't know what this means to me. This was my life's work. Everything I've learned in 20 years of studying Kwama. I thought I was going to have to give up, find something new. Oh, thank you so much. there.
Damn, I missed one up there. Don't you? Erai, the fleet she named me. But that was long ago. This shriveled vessel is but a shadow of my former glory. My wings ache to soar the skies of oblivion once more. The starry pierced the seal with a relic known as the Twilight Heart. It still stands before the gates of Leloria, bereft of magical energies. You'll need to feed its souls, and with all these Zaydra about, you'll have your pick. The wizard Vastari kept quite the stock of sigil geodes, which I suppose should do. There are still some around. I can smell them from here. Of course, she was the last to summon me. Together we opened the ruins of Leloria. She ventured in with her noble companions. I watched them die in a flood of Daedra. It was all I could do to escape and seal the ruin. The Starry's final command. Ignoring the fact that my prince's unbreakable will compels me to open the way to Leloria, despite the unspeakably bloody terror to greet you on the other side. You could be Molog Ball himself for all I know. I'd still help you open the door, Lord of Brutality or not. You aren't him, are you? Good, good. I'd expect the Harvester of Souls to be taller. Try waiting in a rock until someone calls your name. Then watch them reduce to a smear of viscera the moment you do what they've asked you to do. You try to find joy where you can. The joy of aiding another. Of course. Here are the sigil geodes. A little dusty, but they'll do. thing I have to do is upstairs again. Quite simple to use. Point it at the Daedra you want to absorb, and the Sigil Geo does the rest.
one more. Should, anyway. did I pick up to cause this dude to speak to me? Sirai, despite your efforts. My prince's children were legion. They should have overwhelmed you. Molag Ball's chattel are nothing to me. Blasphemy. I had a feeling it was a Stranger, fucking... if you're a foe to Molag, Molag Ball, Ball, stand with me. Fools! I'll feast upon your eyes! Oh. <laughs> Nowhere to fly, fiend. You can't escape me. The sigil geode, do you still have it? Touching the sigil geode to her rise forehead will absorb her soul. It's the only way we'll ever leave this place. If she dies outside of that stone, we'll spend the next century counting the tiles in this place. I noted 32,708. But you're welcome to check my figures. <laughs> In the depths of this ruin is a portal leading straight to Cold Harbor. We can only close it from the other side. Once in Cold Harbor, we'll have no hope of escape unless Irai is inside that stone. Quickly! I can't keep this up for long. It doesn't matter what you do to me. You'll be dead or trapped for a thousand years. Molog Ball is my prince, you fool! I let Vasari believe I was Azura's servant, just as I let you believe. I led you into Cold Harbor's grasp, morsels for the god of schemes to pick from between his teeth. You can never truly escape Cold Harbor, soul shriven. My prince always gets what he wants. If you escaped, it's because he allowed it. Do it! I've spent countless centuries imprisoned in a tablet. That stone would be a delightful change of scenery. Perhaps the Banekin will pick it from your corpse and bring me to my prince. Wouldn't that be wonderful? At last. After all these years. I'm not one to hope any creature suffers. But with Irai, I'll make an exception. She can spend eternity in the sigil geode for all I care. Irai is bound to her tablet. While she's within the sigil geode, we can use her as a tether to escape from Cold Harbor. If I hadn't been so quick to destroy her those years ago, my companions would still be alive. Come, we should retrieve Kulanwe. At the base of these ruins is the hole her torment tears between worlds. But the moment we enter, Molag Ball's servants are likely to sense our presence. I'd have long ago made the attempt myself, if I had anywhere to flee. We must find Kulanwe and free her from whatever cruel device causes her so much pain. 
doing so should end her torment. When she no longer cries out, the rift between Cold Harbor and Leiloria should close, I hope. I kept this library clear of Daedra, but the chambers beyond are home to a variety of the creatures. It may be best to avoid them. All right, in we go. Can you feel her suffering? Her agony? For a thousand years, her pain tunneled through the void, always reaching for her last memories of a life free of suffering. No more! It's just gonna keep going. done it. We freed Kulanwe from her torment. Oh, it was worth the wait. Irai brought us both through the seal. It's only fitting she bring us back. I can use the sigil Geo to trace her soul back, and then it's a simple matter to open a portal. Are you ready? Then prepare yourself. Departing Cold Harbor is never easy.
It is good to stand beneath the sky once more, to feel the breeze upon my skin. And I wouldn't have made it here without you. My home is always open to you, should you get to it. 88 years, 3 months, 11 days, 13 hours, 7 minutes. All right, I'm showing off. I used a simple spell to mark the time. It was the first thing I did when I realized I was trapped. It's not entirely precise, so I had to guess the minutes. Clear my Tower of Daedra for one. Memorialize my companions who did not return. Organize my effects. Then I'll find out what has transpired in this world since I left. <laughs> I have some catching up to do. I opened my home to many I met in my travels. A young Redguard swordsman, a scarred wood elf hunter, a Sigic outcast. I can still hear their voices. But that was not for a time, though I expect my attention shall be drawn elsewhere soon enough. There was something different in Cold Harbor. The air was a little too full, the fires too bright. Molag Baal's corner of oblivion holds many secrets. I plundered several from his halls a lifetime ago. Did you know? I did it to impress a boy. What a fool I was. Telakar. A powerful mage. Brilliant. Always focused upon his work. Hardly striking, though such things never matter to me. It took my escapade in Cold Harbor to convince him there were adventurous women outside of his books. But that was long ago. Finally, something better than the sword. Beloved of the Wild Ones, my priestess returns from the clutches of Cold Harbor at last. So I have seen. A mortal has managed what the eternal dead could not. Much when it is time. You have taught humility to a Daedric Prince, mortal. Tread carefully, for he will attempt to to exact his revenge. Now go with my blessing. When I have need of you, you will know. All right, that's done. And with this fast travel, I am going to go ahead and call it here. And I will head for Storg next time. So, I hope you enjoyed. I hope to see you again tomorrow if you are watching live. Or tomorrow is Sci Fi Saturday. And let me see. 
I believe I'm going to be doing some Seven Days to Die tomorrow. Yes. And, of course, next week, for Fantasy Friday, we will probably do some more ESO or some more Stone Block. We'll have to see, though. So, I hope to see you then. And, if you're watching on YouTube, come check, check out the stream. Fridays are clearly Fantasy Friday. So, Saturdays are Sci-Fi Saturdays. Games vary, depending on what I haven't played in a while, or what I'm needing Spirit to have prepped to upload. So I hope to see you in either place. So, as always... Be safe, be kind, and have a good rest of your night.